How's it going, lads? Phil Potter here, and welcome to the 20th episode of Road to a Better Bollocks FC. I can't believe we hit that 20 episode mark. I feel so happy with myself. Uh, <laughs> uh, but anyway, before we get bollocks deep into this episode, if you are looking for some cheap Ultimate Team coins, PSN codes, Microsoft points, any of that good stuff, check out the gamekeys.co.uk. Their link will be in the description. And if you use the discount code Phil, you get a further 5% off, which is absolutely deadly. But the first team we come up against here has Inform Otzel in it, and he's one of those players you just love. You can't you just can't hate him he's just absolutely class the elegance and oh <laughs> and i'm just trying to think of fancy words now at this stage but anyway uh we get into it here we can see the goal and van Persie. you know it was a rubbish goal to be completely honest with you. it was like because it was van Persie, my keeper was like shite but he may suffer it there and see it's like he flicked it up with his own foot into his hand sorry for the bit of stuttering there but uh it was a bit mental that 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 was now as you can see in the at the halftime stats it's an even enough game i mentioned it in possession but uh we kind of break through here with some, you know, failed skills, to be completely honest with you. And uh, his keeper comes out on a big fucking Superman punch. You know, how many times has your player got punched in the head because of that Superman punch? It's absolutely ridiculous. But we break through here with Hernandez. I probably should have shot there because the man's shots are monstrous. But we cut onto his left. And what a go... Oh, no, I forgot. <laughs> no, I didn't forget. I knew that was going to happen. Um, but it's a great effort from Hernandez. His five-star weak foot. He's absolutely class but uh, at this stage I'm kind of shitting myself because I remembered that I needed to win every game to uh, win division three so I was kind of in a in a sticky situation you know I knocked the not the nice sticky situation you know what I mean not like your own in a pool of your own sperm you know what I mean that's nice then <laughs> Jesus Christ but anyway we do get the equalizer with Bernard and uh, what a beautiful goal it was and I'm sorry but we have to introduce this man sweaty time thank you Martin and you know you know what it has to be done you know a man's got to do what a man's got to do uh so you know we do get the win and it's all about that bounce back ability i was uh one nil down up until what the 80th 80 something minute 84th minute or something like that so that's a great comeback so uh we switch over to our brazilian team i love my brazilian team but i'm thinking that i might make an argentinian team but I'll have like two CDMs and those CDMs will be Raquel May and Veron. It's like two legends. What do you think? That'd be class. And then have youth around them. You know what I mean? I think that sounds like a nice idea. But anyway, we start off this episode and Bernard with them skills. Look at this. Oh, get, get out of the way. There's like three defenders there that he made a fool of. Uh, but I was happy enough with that. Well, I wasn't that happy. We didn't score, but you know what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, now this is a shit effort from Pato, but it nearly squares in. I, I remember saying this in an episode before. Is squares a word or is it squeezed? or I don't know. We'll, we'll say squares. Square sounds nice. Uh, but anyway, I was acting the bollocks with my goalkeeper, and I do that way too much. Just... One of the main reasons I concede a lot of goals, and I need to stop that. I don't know what's what's the best way to work the keepers. I don't know, um, but anyway, yeah, we we're kind of in a second half here, and this is. Oh, I just thought it wasn't going to be my day, you know. I kept going one nil down. Uh, and that always happens to me so I'll probably sign a few defenders in the next episode a few better defenders you know but we do break through and Bernard with a lovely finish the pass from Hernandez was perfect and look at this work from Bernard he he I know he what is he 80 rated or something like that 81 rated but he's just so good and uh, that was a nice little move from Jadson and we swing it in and I flick it back and who's there the big lesbian Miranda to put it away good man Miranda uh, or woman or whatever you are <laughs> Uh, but no, that was great. Once again, it's all about that bounce back ability. It's like sitting on a... Oh, there goes that idea. Anyway, bounce back ability. No, it's like sitting on a sumo wrestler and just bouncing on him. Whoa, that sounded a bit, uh, bit gay. But <laughs> uh, let's just continue. But we do break through with Hernandez and he gets the winning goal to make it 3-2. What a player he is. He's really stepping it up now at this stage. So that's two wins out of two in this episode so far. And we got to keep this up, you know. So I decided to use my other team. And, uh, you know, they're, they're a solid team. 
But I don't know, it's like they haven't clicked just yet. Maybe I need them all to get 10 chemistry or something like that, and then they'll properly click. I don't know. What, what, do, do you lads find that? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, this lad scores with Jovetic in the first... Not in the first minute, in the 19th minute. <laughs> uh, fuck it, I might be exaggerating it a little bit. But we break through here with Ben Arfa, and everyone always tries to predict that sweaty goal, but I'm not sweaty. Bullshit! <laughs> no, I'm not, I wasn't sweaty there, but look at that lovely little pass uh, from, who was it, Remy. Unfortunately, I tried the chip, and you know what? I'm a bollocks for chips, you know what I'm like. But anyway, we will continue, and this guy breaks through. As you can see from the halftime stats, I was pretty much all over him, you know? Uh, I didn't have many shots, but I could tell this guy wasn't great. And then he scored in the 50th minute or whatever. And then I was just shitting myself for the rest of the game. Uh, and unfortunately, we missed a sitter there with Elliot, I think it was. And we lose 2-1. That means we cannot win the Division 3. Th th three, sorry, I always have problems saying that word, but anyway, uh, yeah, we cannot win Division 3, and unfortunately, uh, that means, you know, that we won't get the proper bonus, so we'll, we'll see how it goes, and we can still get promoted to Division 2, but we'll see how that goes anyway, so it's a 4-2-3, one team we're coming up against with Lukaku, Asaidi, bit of skills on the wing, uh, if, like, if you're not going to use skills, I don't know why you'd use him, you know, but anyway, uh, we're going to introduce a new man to this episode. Not in my house. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, I'm not sure how many of you know Dikembe Mutombo, but uh, definitely check out the ad that that was in. Right, uh, that link will be in the description. It was. It's one of my. It's probably my favorite ad ever. It is so good. Uh, basically, I'll just give you a little brief explanation. Right, he is a, a former basketball player. You know, he used to play in the NBA, and uh, he was. Whenever he blocked someone, he'd do like the finger wag. You know, going no, 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 not today. <laughs> uh, it's impossible to do his house. His house. What his voice? Because uh, his, he's obviously hung like a horse and has balls the size of fucking bowling balls you know but uh anyway let's just continue you just watch that ad in the description after this and you will know what i'm talking about we we buy two catalyst chemistry styles both for ronaldinho and kaka and basically what that does it ups their pace and it ups their passing and i was like yeah yeah ronaldinho would even better passing oh oh baby and then i went off for a quick uh what did, what did you say a joyful masturbation session <laughs> no but i'm lying i swear bullshit oh god there's bullshit everywhere but anyway uh your man breaks through in the sixth minute and i couldn't believe it uh i always do this to myself i always go one nil down and it's starting to get a little bit ridiculous to be completely honest with you but this is my like my only proper chance uh in the first half which isn't good as you can see i did have more shots than that but they weren't clinical half decent chances that so i had to show you something show that it wasn't a completely use useless heap of shot but bernard breaks through here with him his little burst of pace is absolutely brilliant, uh, but unfortunately it wasn't brilliant enough. But the lovely passing move, unfortunately it was a little bit laggy that just took away from the beautifulness of, of that goal. But uh, unfortunately we draw, and that means that we end up staying in Division 3, which isn't ideal, but... Do you know what? I'll have another crack at winning the division, and I think we can do it, lads. The Ballast Brigade is going to go mental, so it is. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, that's it for today's episode. If you have enjoyed, do leave a like. As always, it helps me so much. And uh, I'll hopefully get another another exotic teams out soon enough. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. Uh, that was easy to say, wasn't it? But anyway, touch you later, lads, and have a good one.